Let us in, let us in. What's going on guys? So today we're doing a little work on Old Faithful. Not anything major, just fixing the famous squeaking of the door jams. Cheaply. <laughs> Adding some oil, tr some transmission fluid, uh, spraying the tires to keep them from dry rotting. Uh, so 1998 Ford Explorer, trade my Ford F-150 in for it um, from the same dealer. Had it for over two years, I don't know, th three years maybe? I, I don't remember. Um, haven't had to put anything major in it. Um, so I just basically do the bare minimum with it, it's not like a luxury vehicle. It's my beater daily, but I don't daily because I don't I don't have to drive very far for work. So, I'm gonna go ahead and spread the tires and some fun stuff. There she is, all nice and dirty, full of dirt and pollen. been good so far so as you can see the tires are really faded so we're gonna go ahead and spray the tires down quick so link to my description where you guys can get this product and the name of the product and so forth but because of doing this I've been able to preserve my tires they should I mean they could have been replaced uh, Two years ago, or well, no, probably about a year ago, due to um, just old age. But I preserved them enough, and they keep passing inspection. I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. And the secret is, put this stuff on your car or SUV, truck, whatever, before you take it in for inspection. It makes your tires look really nice. I mean, check that out. Look, makes them look so much better than. If you look over at that, well, those tires are really good. It's just, the tire tread is decent. It's just, you can see, you know, from age, from that it's starting to get a little dry rot going on. So by doing this, it turns, let's see, find a good spot. Turns that. No, we're running out. Anyway, it turns that to that. <laughs> That's all right, I got probably about 25 cans of this stuff. It's also good stuff to clean your tires with. So we did that side. So I'm gonna go get another can. And uh, yeah, I've used this stuff for probably since I was 16, which was about 70 years ago. All right, maybe not that long ago. All right, what goodies do we want today? Let's go with this guy. And I'm gonna use this same exact stuff to temporary, temporarily, I, man, I can't talk today, um, fix the squeak in the door. Head over. Normally, like if I would do my our Mustang, I would be wiping all this off. I wouldn't let it run down. I'd be, you know, going over it every little inch of the tire. Like you would spray it down, and then you take a dry rag and you slowly just kind of go over it just to get any runs. But because it's the old faithful. She's just gonna run. But she actually doesn't run as much. Oh, we're starting to get a nice little bubble in here. Right, here's a groove. Probably from going up against the curb in the front yard. Front of the house. Or it could be how it's flexed. Yeah, it might be how it's flexed. I better straighten it out then. So, last but not least. 
I've been using, using this for a long time. My dad used this when he was running around. Really preserves tires. Not, there's some people out there who will say, oh, don't use this. It soaks in and makes your, your uh, rubber weak and so forth. I mean, maybe that's true, maybe not. But my dad never had any issues. I've never had any issues. So, man, look at that. Makes it look so nice. So, I don't know. I would recommend using this on old tires or like for the Mustang tires that you're going to wipe it down so you basically just to get that wet shine look. Alright, so we used a can and a half, wow. Let us in, let us in. So old thing, oh man listen to that. So Old Faithful here, um, the last owners had it really stained up. I mean, it's you can see stains. That is not for me. That is the last owners. Um, so at that point, I was like, you know what? I could have put money into it if I wanted to, you know, new carpet and stuff. Uh -huh. But it's just a beater, and it's nice to have at least... <laughs> All right, stop! Ah! It's nice to have... Oh, we got... <laughs> It's nice to have a beater vehicle. I would not have a nice car if I didn't have a beater vehicle. So this stuff is good on metal, plastic, and everything else in between. So let's go ahead and move the door a little bit here. Get it in spots. So now we still got that little knock. Famous knock. So we're going to go ahead and close the door a little bit and... Spray down in. All right. So close it up. Set my can up here. Slowly open it. See if we got any sounds. So we got one little knock. That's probably, I mean, 1998. Not bad. We might be getting that knock because we're on a slant right here. Wheels turned a little bit. But we took away the annoying sound. Let's go see if any of these other doors have that issue. Oh, so far so good. So I bet I rarely wash the vehicle. Nope, just a driver door. So I don't wash the vehicle much. Don't really do too much to it. You know, as far as money wise, I wash it occasionally, but you know, again, it's just a beater to get around, and man, I love it. Um, the four Explorers are cheap. You know, it's got 136x amount of miles on it. I got it at like 131, so you could tell I, I don't put many miles on it. Um, what else did we want to do? How? Oh. Well, now we got to get our good old stick. Where is that? At? So, um, don't know why. Don't know if from factory or what the reason is behind it, but we don't have a hood prop or hood stand. So I got to put this uh, board up. And man, let me tell you, that is one heavy hood. All right, hold on. Now we gotta find a spot. So, just like that. Um, no, did it 
not come with or maybe are these supposed to hold the hood up probably well we ain't spending the money for it stick will do the job unless my head's under here or hands under here and it comes slamming down that might not feel too good all right so we're checking the oil um which it's probably been about a year since i've checked it now of course every inspection i have a grease and oil change so they check out all the oils and stuff that's just something i've always had done so you know it's just your old the old uh 4.0 sohc motor which I think it's the same motor that's in my uh, Mustang. Obviously, Mustang's a 2008, and this is a 98, so. But it is a 4.0 in the Mustang. Ooh, that looks nice. All right, I really can't do this with one hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and basically end this video I don't think there's any anything else to really show you guys besides changing the oil and I'm not changing the fluid I'm just actually adding oil so yeah I should re um, say that you know I've seen people make these explorers really nice smoke it out but you know it, it's a nice looking vehicle but I'm starting to get some rust going on here starting to happen up in here you can't see because it's so dirty but and the frames getting rusty and it's just not that my my feeling is unless you can buy one of these and garage keep it with really low miles then put putting the money in is worth it but if you can't if you can't garage keep the explorer or basically any nice vehicle that you want to put money into it just don't do it use, use it as a beater they're great SUVs, plenty of room. Gas mileage kind of bites a little bit. Not the greatest, but, you know, hey, they're cheap. These and the Trailblazer, Chevy Trailblazers, um, they're, they're about the same. I give them close to the same rating, except the Trailblazer comes with a straight six. And that, that as far as torque and horsepower, blow this thing out of the water. I mean... What is it? I think it's 275 horsepower in the 2002 straight six trailblazer. Um, I had one. I loved it. I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. I love this thing too. So, you know, hey, Chevy, Ford, Dodge, whatever. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Lots more videos coming your way.